Now, a story about a cat that knocks spots off your usual pampered pet. Zeus, a Bengal cat, is said to be the most expensive moggy in the world. And he and his owner, Esmond Gay, join us now from Bedfordshire. Esmond, a very good morning to you. Good morning. How much does he cost and why is he so special? Um, if we decide to sell him, he's going to be uh, about 100,000. Um, the reasons are he's taken 10 years to breed, um, a tremendous amount of money. He actually costs about a quarter of a million to breed him uh, over a 10-year period. And um, he's a complete one-off. He's the only uh, Bengal that we know of in the world um, that's got 90% wild blood. So what does he eat? Children? <laughs> <laughs> no, he actually, his best friend uh, and, and play partner is uh, my three-year-old daughter, uh, whose name is also Kitten. Um, and, uh, he sorry, you've named your daughter Kitten? Her. Sorry, sorry, I've got to stop I've you. You named your daughter Kitten? I'm, I'm, I'm uh, quite obsessed with cats, yeah, and uh, uh, Kitten seemed uh, a very beautiful name for her. So, yeah, her, her name is Kitten, and she's his uh, p uh, play friend. Um, so, no, he's certainly not... Um, vicious in any way. We've gone to a, a great extent, uh, great lengths to, to keep him tame. Um, and we, we've hand reared him from a, just a couple of days old. Uh, he's with us constantly. He goes out in the car with us without a harness and lead, without a cat carrier. He sits on my shoulder and looks out the window. Um, and uh, he's, he's, he basically, he's a gorgeous pet, but for the right person. And the right home for a cat like this is very, very important. It's got to be someone who's used to cats, who will treat him with the respect that he deserves. He's not uh, the run-of-the-mill uh, domestic cat. As you say, he's, he's got 90% wild blood. Um, and uh, if we can find the, the perfect home for him, um, then, yes, he, he will be rehomed. Um, but if not, then he'll, he'll stay with us. Uh, Esmond, I mean, it sort of goes without it. saying that if you're spending £100,000 on a cat, you will probably look after it reasonably well. I mean, what sort of people buy them? Uh, uh, name drop. Let us know a few, few of the film stars I know have been buying cats from you. Jonathan Ross, uh, um, Cindy Jackson, uh, Rolf Harris, Goldie Horn, um, Sultan of Brunei, um, a lot of the members of the uh, Arab ro uh, royal families, um, Jeffrey Archer, and uh, a number of other people who um, I'm unable to, to, to name for privacy reasons. <laughs> All right. Well, we've got quite a list there already. I mean, how um, <laughs> how easy are they to breed and and if you've got one of these cats, how much do you need to worry about the local cat neighbourhood and getting some rather dodgy offspring? Well, normally, it's the later generations that are sold. We're one of uh, uh, the, the few breeders in, in Europe who can breed uh, the early generations, and we're the only be breeders in the, uh, Great Britain um, who can breed uh, F1 Bengals, which is what he is. And F1 is the direct hybrid uh, with an Asian leopard cat father and a domestic mother. Um, so it's very rare that you'll see an, an F1 or an F2 or an F3 running around the streets. It's more likely to be uh, a Generation 4, which is four generations away from the wild. Um, and uh, by that time, the problem with, with, with that is they've got so much domestic blood um, that they look, they've got beautiful markings, beautiful spots, beautiful coats, but they've got very, very domestic faces. If you look at Seuss and our other F1 and F2 Bengals, they, they look like, they've got little wild uh, faces, they look like little leopards um, in, in, in every sense of the word, rather than just having a, a, a big round face um, like, 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 a, like a tabby cat. Zeus is a beautiful specimen, clearly, we're just looking, looking at him, but um, how, how, how old is Zeus? He's five months old now. Five months old, and you're expecting to get £100,000. I mean, a lot of people would... But if I don't... Go, go on. Sorry, if I don't, we're not overly bothered. We've done uh, uh, very well out of um, the cats we've bred. It's not, about, it's not about money. If we can find the right home, yes, he will be rehomed. Uh, re but um, it, if, if we have to keep him, he will be the most un unique pet um, that anyone could possibly want. Um, he's used to living in the house. He's never been outside. Um, he has the full run of the house. He uses a, a, a litter tray. Uh, he behaves like a domestic cat. He's just more playful um, and uh, uh, I think more loving uh, as well, as you can probably see uh, with my fiancé and, and, and him at the moment. Um, he's very affectionate. He'll, he'll lie in the bed between us. He's very jealous of myself and Sarah. So to try and split us up, he'll lie in the middle of the bed in between us. And... Um, obviously prevents quite a lot of things.
<laughs> Esmond, I think we better leave it there, actually. But uh, uh, d just ask Sarah very briefly, I mean, do those teeth hurt? Not yours, I'm talking about uh, the cat's. No, <laughs> no. He, he, it, it looks all very, uh, very vicious, but, it, but it, it's, just, it's just nibbling. It, <laughs> it's just nibbling. There's, there's never any scars or anything permanent. It's, it's my African leopard in my back garden that does more da a lot more damage than that, than that. You've got an African leopard as well? We've got African leopards, we've got ocelots, we've got uh, margays, uh, we've got Asian leopard cats, and uh, the sale of the Bengal kittens goes to fund um, all, all the wild cats, and w uh, we breed them, and they go to other uh, wildlife parks or conservation centres, and they're used for conservation purposes. So basically, the Bengal cat, um, created from a leopard, is now helping their wild ancestors. Um, obviously, there's a tremendous amount of pleasure that we gain from, uh, fr from that, not just keeping animals like the African leopards, but knowing th that we're doing something constructive together with the Bengal, uh, with, the, with the finances from the Bengal uh, to help these, these, uh, these wilder and, and far more endangered species. Yeah, I, it's also cheaper than a, a house alarm, isn't it? I bet the burglar mm -hmm. rate's very low where you are. Anyway, it's really no. good to talk to you. <laughs> we wish you well, and, uh, and many congratulations on breeding such a, a, a fantastic Thank cat. We wish you both well. Thank you very much Thank for joining us. Thank you very us, much isn't? indeed. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye. That's amazing. We can have to go into his house for dinner, though. <laughs> <laughs> Count your fingers before you do. <sighs> well, it was.